Guess what time it is? It's time to cold call. Cold call. You want a cold call? No. Nobody wants a cold call. But that's how you make money. Well, there's a lot of ways to make money. But here's one of them. First, it's been 10 minutes. Ah! Okay, just so you know, I put inside, I don't want to tip it too much. Yee! Um, Italian sweet cream, creamer. Uh, a thimble full of stevia for sweetener. It's healthier. And then uh, some cinnamon. And now... Ooh! Nothing like Colombian brew. Put that over there. It's going to be too hot, but... Ah! It's hot! Told you. All right, humans. Humans. Is that straight? Straight. Okay, we just Googled chiropractors in McAllen, Texas. So, this is what we are going to do. We are literally going to wipe off the table first because I got some goo on there. My coffee is just leaving some residue, so. like a stings the soul. All right, let's start doing this. Where's my headphones? Apple headphones. Guys, I made a video about Apple headphones and they didn't work properly with an Android. I think that's by design. I think that Apple does that so you have to buy their products because it works amazing with my iPhone. Anyway, let's start co-calling. Hey, let me zoom this in a little for you. There we go. No, that's too much. Ew. Basically back to the regular, you know. All right, I Googled. I looked up cities by population, and then right now in central time, it's 10.03 a.m. So we are going to start calling on the first page of Google because people care. They care. And guys, the whole point of this is just simply to, like, Yes, it's a sales call, but don't make it a sales call. You don't lie to them, but at the same time, no one's going to be like, oh, yeah, this is a sales call. Yeah, let's set this up. So basically what we're doing is, like, there's issue. There's a new Google update that came out, like, 10 days ago. So we're a consulting firm that consults for chiropractors on this. So we are going to see if we can get a set appointment. Honestly, you should cold call, like, if you're good, you can cold call 40 to 50 a day and be good. But if you're not as good, I would start cold calling, like, 60 to 80 a day, but don't burn yourself out for one and then for two Make sure that you don't Don't call the same area. That was a mistake that I made. You got to keep track of everything So I use Google Drive for everything To make sure and Google Doc or Docs to Google Drive to Google Calendar Google everything. Thank you Google. Ah Okay, let's call humans feeling energized cam feeling energized Six eight six eight zero six zero. Hello, this is Ryan. From the outside, Jay. Oh. Hey, good morning. This is Ryan at Reborn. How are you? Excellent, excellent to hear. Me as well. Uh, hey, I am the updates guy for Google, like the big update for our company, Reborn. Uh, and we basically just make sure you guys are educated on the new update because you guys are ranking pretty well right now. But this new update is going to start like kind of deranking you. Does your doctor kind of care like, hey, you guys got 15 errors on the back end of your website. Would your doctor kind of care about that sort of thing or not as much? Yes, okay. So what I'd like to do, it's free. We, we basically are a consulting firm to make sure you guys get educated. Um, are you the office manager there? Who, who kind of handles that, obviously? Email deck. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Do you guys have uh, just the two offices then? Okay, cool. Yeah, what is the number for your other office if she kind of deals with that? Uh -huh. Okay, awesome. And uh, Imelda is her name. 
Uh, no, that's perfect. That's that's fine. I, I I'll give her a, a shout over there. Is she is she in this morning? Awesome. All right, I'll give her a call. Thank you so much. All right, take care. Bye. On the floor. Yeah, sometimes this is also it's a numbers game because you have to sift through like the nobodies in the office that they don't care about marketing or websites or whatever. They're just there to collect a paycheck. So that guy was nice though. Usually you don't get guys. All right, let's let's try Imelda. The hardest part is the monotony of this. That's why you gotta break up your day. 20 cold calls, take a break, do something else, other forms of marketing, whatever, get back to another 20, and then. Hey, Giovanna, is Amelda in? Yes, it's Rylan. I just spoke to your other office. It's Rylan over at Reborn. We're the consultants on the Google update. Yeah, no problem. Now I'm on hold. I mean, when you've worked this hard, when you call a second office, you stay on hold longer, but usually if they leave me on hold for like 30 seconds, I just go to the next because... They're liars! That's what they are! Most likely. A lot of people, they get so many calls a day that they're just like... Some of the doctors even tell them like, Hey, be mean to these guys, whatever. Just like hang up on them or whatever. So this is the hardest thing, not in the world. I was going to say the hardest thing in the world to do. Door to door is the hardest thing in the world. Oh, guys, you also need this. My thing's muted, but if I can open it. This right here. It's called a rocket book. You can write on it with this uh, pilot. It's like an erasable pen, but you can put... Hey, is this Imelda? Oh, she's not in her office? Okay, will you just let her know? There's just an important update. I, uh, this is something a little different. I know you guys get a bunch of salespeople trying to sell you something, but this is an important Google update that's actually, it's deranking your website or about to start. It's flagging you guys, because when Google comes out with updates, it changes requirements. Does that make sense? So my point is, is that what we do is we let you guys know, hey, here's how you fix it, here's what's going on. So do you mind taking down my info? And then I'll send an email as well. No worries. Hey, Doreen, this is Cameron. How are you doing today? Okay, my name is Rylan, R Y L A N. And my phone number is perfect. Hey, thanks so much. I appreciate it. All right, bye. So that was a bust. Again, this is just a simple numbers game of doing it over and over and doing, this is how you get to start your day, is like I just showed you in the beginning of this, is just have a consistency factor of whatever you do, working out, eat, coffee, blah, 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 all the crap, read, meditate, whatever the hell you do in the morning. But let me get back to this. Uh, she came back on the phone real quick. So this, rocket book. I got the like medium sized one and it came with also like, whatever, it comes with, oh, right here, this cloth. This cloth, boom, logo, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, but this, it's really cool. I'll even show you. Okay, so we have font right here on this page. Oh, I don't have water though. Oh, we got some, uh, I'll get water. Hold on. Please hold. All right. Take a little water, tiny amount. And then, yeah, I don't need that. Yeah! You literally just dab, dab, dab a roo. Boom. Let it dry until you uh, start writing on it again. But look, boom, that was the other page. That page is gone. A little wet, so it's got streaks on it, so it looks weird. But once it's dry, it's fine. And T ways, highly recommend because it's just reusable. Oh, my, the best part about it, I didn't even tell you. You scan this little barcode in the corner to your app, and then it gets all your notes directly to Google Drive or wherever you want to send it. It's all customizable. So think about this for fulfillment. Think about exponential growth. You could literally have notes, because I take notes all the time, have notes and then upload it like, hey, 
if I just take random notes, okay, I get on the phone with the doctor or whoever, and I take random notes, and then it transpires into a sale, I can just, boom, screenshot that, you know, scan it, put it on Drive, and then, oh, M Mr. Customer, I have all your notes from beginning of when we talked, you know? And then it's cool, because then you can streamline it to, like, fulfillment if you needed to, like, hey, what about this content? How, mu how much content did we promise this client? Shout out to Traeger. I went to one of their things and met the, the owner. They gave me this dope cup. Ha ha ha. I'll do one more for you guys. One more. One more. It's just a repetitive thing that you do consistently. And oh, and I also, to office location. Uh, need to speak to Imelda at boom nine five six six eight six. Oh. All right. So this is what you do too: is you, if you don't get a set appointment for this free whatever free thing whatever, uh, and there's different ways to spin it. Just because this is my industry, that's what we do: is is you know Google and websites and SEO and all that stuff. But you need to make sure that you get you'll freaking punch yourself in the head a year from now. If you start a business and you're not collecting emails, you're fuzzing up. Because what you can do is do a drip campaign, which what that means is you literally have like, like in one week we collected 60 emails with me and Cam only. So if you literally do this where you have it uh, collecting these emails, then you can put it in a drip campaign, which just means, hey, uh, every 20th or every 20th and the 23rd and the 25th, whatever, of the month, you can say, oh, hey, it's the end of the month. Here's a promotion going on. And it's all automated. So you don't even have to do anything, but think about it. If you, have a th if you get up to like 1,000 or 2,000 or 5,000 emails, you close 1% of everything you send out. I don't know. I'm not great at math. I, you know, schooling's not my forte. But if you have 1,000 emails and you close 1%, boom, that's 10 deals right there. And if you have multi-thousand dollar contracts, that's just like, it's free money on the table, man. Free money. Cam, do you like free money? He loves free money. <laughs> Alright. You got one? I did, I did, I did. He got a set appointment. Got a set appointment? I did. Good job, Cam. No problem. Third call of the day. Third call. Boom. That's doing work. Consistency. And people say you can't get sets. <laughs> People are liars. <laughs> See? If you believe it, you can achieve it. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more. And guys, there's no order. You just call off of the organic section. I mean, you can call ads, but I would recommend calling the organic, which just means that there's Google ads, 10, every page has 10 on Google, so 10 organic section of the people on Google and then you just go one, two, three, four, through the pages anyway. So we're gonna call number two. Hendrick Wellness Center. And really the hardest challenge to this cold calling thing is your morale because you feel like these humans are saying no to you, which in fact these people have no idea what you're calling about, they don't care. That was weird, I just got a weird message. Anyway, so they're like, it's busy, blah, 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 but on to the next. Um, and every call counts, like, just do 20 calls, because, like, that's what you need. Do 20, take a break, do something else, do 20. But anyways, I really forget what I was saying, but it was probably something really good. Oh, I was saying the hardest part of this whole operation is... Literally just having your mental morale of like, okay, these people aren't saying no to me. Because what they're doing is like, they're the front office people. So they have no pull in it. They don't care, whatever. Typically, you just need to find the people that do care. And that's like, that's a great, brings up a great point. Don't sell to everyone. Like, yeah, you're calling everyone, but some people are not going to be a good fit for your business. That's why do you think those weird billboards, like in Utah, we have these billboards that like mean nothing. Like one of them has like a bunch of gibberish on it, but... I'm in the, like the website space, so I understand it's a bunch of code. They're looking for people specifically only that understand what that code means. But everyone, like your mom driving by is like, 
What's this Chinese on the billboard? Ha! Huh. Anyway. Uh, let's call another. Another one. I keep that Colombian coffee going. Hey, good morning. This is Ryland at Reborn. How are you? Excellent, excellent. Um, hey, I am the word of mouth guy for the Google update. It actually is just like a kind of a big deal because it's uh, flagging your guys' website. You're fine. This girl's probably gonna suck too. You you can you can tell if you're chipper and happy and you say, hey, how's it going? And they're just like, fine. Then you know they're gonna be an a-hole kind of. So I'll probably hang up on this girl like she said, oh, what? Sorry, uh, hold on one sec. La, 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 la. And three, two, one, on to the next. Don't even care. And you gotta be in control. Like, this is important, but you gotta be in control in the sense of this this is important. Like these people are like, oh no, we're good, we have a website person. Oh no this, oh no that. No, you don't understand that this new update is actually and this is true, that's like they have a bunch of errors on the back end, because people create these websites and they don't do the back end properly. We do. So Alright, let's do another. These guys are not secure. Hey, good afternoon, it's Rylan over at Reborn. How are you? Oh, pretty good. I'm on my second cup of coffee, so, you know, my heart's kicking now. <laughs> well, hey, hey, I am the, the Google guy for my company. This new update came out, and I wish this was a more exciting call, but <laughs> all, I'm all I'm trying to do is make sure you guys are educated because your site is, like, not secure. It says that in red at the top, and then there's about 15 other errors. So I'm not trying to make you guys switch or do anything or buy anything. All I do is is I set up 10 minute, like a phone call for later this week or, or even next week might be better. Um, and it, all it is is to relay info to the doctor. So we would jump on a call for 10 minutes. I would show you where it says not secure, show you the issues, and then send you an email of like the pictures of what we went over just so you fully understand it. And then you just tell the doctor and show the doctor. Does that make sense? No, no, it's free. We do this like a, like you guys have word of mouth for your patients. We do this word of mouth for our company just to make sure like, hey, there's a million companies out there. We like to kind of stand out and do this for free. So there's no, and I'm not a high pressure dude. It's literally just like, hey, here's what it is. Here's, here's how, how you guys go about fixing it. And usually the doctors are like, oh, wow, this is like, why isn't our company doing this? Why aren't, you know, why isn't this happening? You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, just just let them know. And the website, Google is actually putting an overlay, a block on websites that are not secured. That's why it's so important. So just let them know that it's a, a big deal that, that uh, it's happening. So, all right, are you ready for my info? Rylan, R-Y-L-A-N. Yeah, you got it. And just tell the doctor, it's, yeah, it's a free thing that we do just to make sure you guys are up to date for your office. Yep, yep, directly, yep, exactly. So we're consultants, we work directly with the Google update and we make sure that uh, we, we specifically work with chiropractors, okay? Thanks so much, have a good one. Bye. Ah, swing and a miss. She was super nice, super sweet, but basically she was like, our doctor gets mad at us scheduling things like that, I can get down to your info, which they're, the doctor's not gonna call you back. I mean, one out of a hundred calls you back. I did have one. It was like out of 500, but one, one out of 500 called me back because I left a voicemail. Oh, by the way, if someone that's the decision maker, like the doctor, is on the voicemail, hey, this is Dr. Richards, please leave your voice, blah, 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 whatever. Leave a voicemail because they're the decision maker. They're going to hear what you have to say. Most likely not call you back, but still they're going to hear it. They're going to hear it at least. They're going to hear it at least, Bill. Oh boy! Got my coffee for the day! Anyways, well that's some cold calling guys. Uh, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Grind it, do 20 more calls. So hopefully that helps illuminate the beginning of our day. That's what we do, 20 cold calls. Then we do some other LinkedIn, some other marketing stuff. And everything you do, it doesn't matter. Even if you call 20 people and no one sets an appointment with you, you do that five days a week for the next 
year, you're going to have a shit ton of appointments and you're going to sell deals. That's what you do. And that's why it's hard because people get beat up about, oh my gosh, I had 20 people say no to me. All it takes is one. You sell one, it's a multi-thousand dollar contract and then you rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, man. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed me cold calling, being crazy. Got a lot of energy. A lot of energy because I have that Colombian coffee. Ah, enjoy. Enjoy.